money is so. It requires passion. If you see the neighborhood who are being involved in programs. But with the time that we have, we always have limited time. Basing on the syllabus, content and the rest, we have limited time to handle them practically. So at times when you touch a few things, you can handle it for one day, and then all of a sudden, the next time when you're going for it, the student is already disgusted with it. The other thing that always I've seen affecting the programming aspect is this. One, the teachers themselves have a negative mind. Some members are not IT people, and we realize that the coding aspect, they have the elementary IT skills, but not the other technical aspect of it. So when you look at the coding aspect in programming, maybe using the visual, the C language, and those other languages, you find it is very hard for them to interpret it. They cannot understand what we need there. So in such an extent, such a person cannot explain and make the student understand the code because himself is not well acquainted with it. We always attend these retooling workshops and we find that most of the time, if I may be sincere, it's always an intro. They, they, they tell you that today we are going to have a session on programming, we are going to use visual basic. But when that session comes, you realize that it's for a few minutes, you're not given hands on, you cannot develop any program, you just watch it on projection, hands on, there is nothing. At the end of it all, even if you go back to your workstation, you cannot do anything because the content you learned remains wrong. That is one of the things that I've always learned. However, my advice to members is this. At times, let's try to get, let's download the content, connect. We can just learn the things on our own, provided that we have everything that it takes. Spend like one hour every day on your laptop. You can become a very good programmer, you can call this in any language. And it's the same thing that happens to other programs, like website development and the rest. When you spend at least one hour a day in the machine, you find everything becomes perfect. You just take it by passion, you like it. Even just two years, just give them that encouraging heart and tell them that programming is the easiest way to go. It is just like how they have negative mind of mathematics and other subjects. That is the same thing with programming. Thank you. Mm -hmm. When you talk about programming, in most cases learners will think that they are going to make a program and in the end you are teaching them to make a quadratic equation, a hello world, something simple and they don't feel they are doing something important. You know when I first heard about programming I thought probably I'm going to design something like a Facebook. In the end I was taught how to do hello world, which is something little, something useless according to the perception of me and my learners. So I think they should start testing programming practically so that learners can, ex can use the skills they learned in the exam. Thank you. That's okay. Let me use this. Okay, according to me, like now, if I'm to here at the school, which I started with, I was teaching in the science secondary school. But now, some students, like they know programming, it needs practice. Okay? Like when you go home, you have to practice. Anytime, when, like the time you get, you have to be like practicing just in order to get the basics and the real words. Because it is very easy for you to, get, to forget the syntax. Okay? Like when you look at the visual basic and C, they have different syntax. But now for the student, remember that student has to get like to study the physics, mathematics, and the other subjects. And again, that's also to study computer. But again, to put much concentration on computer, which means there is computer alone, and even there is also the programming part. But now at the end of the day, like when you check on the past papers, because in those schools, I will always provide the question papers, like the past papers for your name. The student can check it for almost the flow, the later start from 2008 up to, all right, let us start from 2010 up to now. There are no questions in, for programming, okay? And if they are there, just write as, uh, like uh, the same question as my colleague said, that the one for which can return 
the hero world. Okay? So I think, yes, as we, but according to me, programming is easy. It's easy, and it is interesting, and it, by the way, like if you start it like in a class, student can pick much interest. Like if you start with the first programmers and so on, the one we program, it is just a fun, people can pick up the interest. Okay? Let us not let us not take a position that we are oh like teach we are teachers. So by the I'm not a teacher, I did computer science, but I ended up like a teacher because teaching is my hobby. I love teaching. At the same time as I do my software development on the other side. But if we are introducing the topic to the learners, let us first bring out the the reasons and let us give the according to me, that's how that's how I do it. I give the personalities. Many those computer specialists like the Zuckerberg, like the, the late Steve Jobs, those people say that these people they pick up the interest that yes, if I do programming, I can become like those guys. And again, if we're teaching, I think the programming part, we the, we teachers. Let us not take the condition that you know, let us take it that we teachers and mainly we computer teachers, programmers, we are very rich. So these students, they can look at you and say, ah, if this guy can do it, and this guy is rich, yes, mm. because even he's proud. I think that's how I do it, but I always teach mainly. So far, I focus on HTML and C. And I think my students, they are somehow, they are somehow with the interest. So that's my views according to the program side. Thank you so much. Anybody else? Okay.